Hello, my name is Emma Norris and I will be showing several forms of contraceptives in order to increase the number of adolescents who receive formal sex education. So let's talk about what sex education is and why is it so important. Sex education is important because sex is a part of our health. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, quality sex education can be defined as providing students with the knowledge and skills to help them be healthy and avoid human immune deficiency virus, HIV, sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, and unintended pregnancy. Some may argue that the best way to teach sex education is to teach abstinence. However, studies have found that not only does this approach to sex education fail to prevent teenage pregnancies, it's also positively correlated with the increase in teenage pregnancies and birth. If sex education is so important, what are some of the best forms of contraceptives? Some examples of birth control are intrauterine, which means inside the uterus. An example of this would be the IUD, which has a failure rate of 0.1% to 0.4%. Another form of birth control is hormonal methods, which refers to the use of hormones to prevent pregnancy and hormone imbalance. Some examples of these was, could be the implant, which can goes in the arm, the shot, which is injected in the buttocks or another area of fat, oral contraceptive, which is taken orally every day, the patch, which can be placed over the body for about a week, and the ring, which is placed inside your vaginal canal. These forms of hormonal methods range from 0.1% to 7% in failure rate. Some other less invasive forms of birth control is the barrier method, which is the diaphragm, which can be placed inside the vaginal canal, the male condom, which is placed on the penis, the female condom, which is placed on the vagina, spermicide, which is a gel that has chemicals that kill sperm. Some other forms could be fertility awareness methods, which can be described as women tracking her cycle and sustaining from sex when ovulating, and the lactational method, which means women tracks lactation and only participates in sensual activities at certain points. Although I have given a very general idea of the proper actions that should be taking place with certain birth control, I find it important to go into more detail and describe some of the more common forms of birth control. Most contraceptives consist of taking a pill, changing a patch, or a doctor inserting the contraceptives themselves. However, there are several different types of contraceptives that require the user to be educated on how to use them. Like the ring. Per the CDC, you should place the ring inside your vagina. You wear the ring for three weeks, take it out for the week you have your period, then put a new ring in. Another one would be the male condom. Some major points that you need to be aware of when you use condoms as a contraceptive is that they only can be used once and you should not use oil-based lubricants with a condom. Female condoms are very similar to male condoms, except they were worn by female instead of male. The CDC states that it is packaged with the lubricant and is available at drugstores. It can be inserted up to eight hours before sexual intercourse. The last two are spermicide and diaphragm. Although spermicide and diaphragm are two different types of contraceptives, they're usually used together. If you choose to use a diaphragm from your doctor, will insert the diaphragm for you, and they will suggest to use spermicide along with it for better protection. Spermicide should only be used less than an hour before intercourse. Where can some of these contraceptives be found? The best way to get contraceptives is to talk to a parent or guardian. There are several steps a parent or guardian can take to be able to help their adolescent with understanding the importance of contraceptives. One could be supporting the adolescent while seeking health care. Two could be talking to your adolescent. Three, preparing your adolescents for independence. Four, working with your adolescent's health care provider. Five, staying informed. Six, seeking out resources. Although I suggest the best way to obtain birth control is through your parents, I'm aware that some parents aren't as educated on the topic. Some good resources I would suggest is going to your primary position and possibly to Planned Parenthood. If you are looking for a less personal way to find more information, I would suggest the National Sex Standards. This book is a good way for you and your parents to learn proper sex education. This is my works cited page. This is where you can find the national sex education standards that I suggested in the slide before. This is also where you can find information on several of the topics that I had discussed in this PowerPoint.